What's up guys, Tamar Action here. The Honor Band 5i has been launched in India and it's available through Amazon India for a price tag of 1,999 Indian rupees and we did get one and here it is. Is this market to be the light version of the Honor Band 5? But with this band which is the 5i, there are some cool stuff and actually the first thing that's noticeable is right when you unbox it and that's there is no charging cable or charging dock in the box and that's because this band has a built-in USB connector which is accessible by removing this side of the band and for that underneath the band there is a release button which on pushing releases the strap and on removing the strap you can see the USB connector and now you can directly plug this thing into a power bank or any USB port and I think this is a very good thing because it's less of a cable to carry. Then the second thing that's good with this band is that this band has a 0.96 inch color display. And you can see that when you turn the band on and for that you have to connect the band to a power supply. And here I'm going to connect it to a power bank and instantly there is a haptic feedback and the band turns on. Now this display is not an AMOLED panel but on the other hand it's a TFT display. But still for this price a color display is a great feature to have. Now once the band is turned on setting it is the next step. And for that, you need to download the Honor Health app, which is available both in iOS and Android. And here we'll set up the band with an Android phone, which is Pixel 3a. Now here, when you open the app for the first time, it does show a note stating Huawei needs to collect fitness data, device location, etc. And actually all these informations are just stored in the phone and not in any Huawei servers. And once you agree to that, the next screen is the permission request screen. And here you need to grant access to internet, phone, location and Bluetooth. And on agreeing to that, you'll be taken in and the first permission request pops up, which is manage call request and you have to allow this for getting calls in your band. Then the next thing is location request, which I'm going to pick allow only while using the app. And now let's pair our band and for that, choose device and in that, choose smart band, which will update the band list. And here, as you can see, we have on a band 5i. Choose that and click pair and then you have to enable location service and on clicking enable, well, it takes us to locations, which we have to turn on. And then it will search for the band and as you can see the band is showing up and on clicking it you'll be prompted in the band to agree and once you agree the pairing process is all done. But there are some more things to do in the app and for that first we have to hit continue which then shows a prompt stating enable notification access for the L tab and we have to enable it for getting notifications in the band and on clicking enable we have to grant notification access for the L tab in the phone system settings. And once it's done just go back to the health tab and we can toggle on the notifications we want to receive from the apps. And here almost all notifications can be turned on but I'm just going to turn on messages, WhatsApp and Instagram. Then the next thing is we have to grant access for contacts as well as call logs. Now if you don't grant access well the call notification will not be proper. And after all this we can see another prompt and that's because I didn't grant location access for all the time and here I'm going to do that because I want the tracking to be proper. Then you get the last prompt which is to allow access for photos and medias and that's it everything is set. Now before checking the band in depth let's dig into the app more because here we have a third cool feature which is watch faces. And actually by default there are only three watch faces for the band but you can download more watch faces from the app. Now before doing anything further let's check whether there is any update and there is one which introduces remote music playback controls. Now I did update the band and actually it took some time and also towards the end of the update I got a glitch stating the update failed stating Bluetooth connection is lost but it's an error and actually the band got disconnected because it was restarting to finish the update and after that process is done the band will turn on and then you can connect it back to the app. And on checking the update settings once more as you can see the update was done. And also one more thing with the app is that you have full control for the band here which is you can set an alarm or enable do not disturb. Then Bluetooth disconnection reminder can be toggled on and also I'm going to enable Huawei true sleep because I want sleep tracking and also I'm going to enable continuous heart rate monitoring. Now both of these will affect battery life but I want to use my fitness band to its full potential. So that's all for the app and it's a good app with a lot of controls and now on checking the band closely the band feels well built and the strap is of good quality too. But we can see that bright color display is a bit dull but it's a full touch interactive display and here you can cycle between the available menus by swiping up or down and also if you want to choose an option like maybe workout just tap it and you can see the sub menus and if you want to go back to the previous screen well you can do that by swiping to the right and from any menu if you want to go back to the home screen which is the clock you can tap the home button which is the circular touch ring and actually to turn the screen on you have to tap this home button because tapping the touch screen won't wake it up. And also if the band is in your wrist, which by the way is easy to wear, then there is a raise to wake feature which works pretty well. 
Now, after taking a close look at the display, well, even though the display is a color display, it's not a punchy display because as I said before, this is not an AMOLED panel. But for the price, I consider this display to be a good feature since it's sufficiently bright, which makes outdoor visibility good. Now, some of the other cool features of this band is that the band has an heart rate sensor, which also supports continuous heart rate monitoring. And also there is SpO2 monitoring, which tracks oxygen saturation levels in bloodstream. And the use of it is that it helps to find out how effectively a person is breathing and this is a useful feature for people with breathing and heart problems. Then there is also music control which works pretty well and you can control music from apps like Spotify and also the band is 518 water resistant which is a pretty good thing and also there are wide variety of workout options in the band. And on top of all that, well the notifications does work well like you get notified for a call which you can silent or reject from the band and also you can see message notifications which can be either text or even WhatsApp messages. Well, you can't reply to them, but still at least you can see what the content is. And since there is no speaker in the band, all these notifications and alerts are notified through vibrations and the vibration is pretty strong, so you won't be missing it. And finally, all this stuff is packed into a very lightweight device, which is only 24 grams, and that's noticeable when you wear because you barely feel it after wearing it. Now, the battery backup is claimed to be approximately six to nine days on a full charge based on usage, which is good if it's true, and we'll be testing that. Well, everything is not the best here and that's seen with the sensor used which is a 3-axis inertial sensor and also the Bluetooth version is Bluetooth 4.2 and also like I said before, the screen is not a sharp one. And like all fitness bands, this one also counts and movements as steps. But these are all outshadowed mainly by the price tag and also the features it offers for the price. And based on my initial impressions, I do like this band and I feel it's worth the price and it's a great addition to the budget fitness tracker lineup. But we'll be testing the band very in-depth and we'll cover everything in detail in our full review which will be coming in the next week. So if you don't want to miss that video and also all the other stuff we upload, please do hit that subscribe button and also the bell icon. And like always, if you enjoyed this video, hitting that like button is much appreciated. See you again in the next one. Till then, bye.